2017 Toyota Camry Hybrid. We're gonna do a quick recovery here. I'm gonna give you a real fast slowdown. Not much detailed in description, but I'm gonna run it through you really fast. First, you perform your refrigerant identification. I have it all hooked up. Hit start because I already went through the warm up procedure. It's going through the calibration. Then we make sure your scale's on because here in California, I know around the country and around the world, it is different. But here in the United States and in California, you have to record every vehicle that you take refrigerant down and document on your documentation, your EPA log of how much refrigerant per vehicle. So that's why we have a scale here. We're gonna take away to this. Here is the recovery machine. This is the field piece. For those guys with small shops, this is what I highly recommend. Guys who don't want the big machine, they want something really simple. You're just gonna hook up. You can do both lines, but if you really wanted to, you could just do one low side line. The refrigerant will travel up the low side line. You will open this valve right here. You will open up your valve going to your recovery machine and it goes down and it sucks the refrigerant right into the unit condenses it from a vapor into a liquid, then pumps the liquid out of the unit into your tank for you to recover. It is that simple. So test, why didn't I hit test before? Because I didn't uh, put that down. All right, so I had to screw down. This is the actual um, connector you have to hook up because before every vehicle, before you recover refrigerant, you have to test every vehicle to make sure it's pure refrigerant because if you mix your refrigerant, it's contaminated and it's no good. And there's a lot of contaminated refrigerant out there. So once this is finished testing, and as you can see, I'm already in a negative vacuum on the low side because I have on this side. The high side is hooked up to the high side pressure, but I have the valve off. I'm not gonna recover from the high side. As you can see, it's 56 PSI. And this is a full system, but 56 PSI gives you an idea of what the ambient temperature is here inside uh, this space. And let me see if I can put my glove back on. Okay, we're coming up. Our test is almost complete. There it goes. We can test now, or we could uh, see what our results are. See results, and our results are. We are 100% pure on 134, no air, just pure refrigerant. So now we can skip to the next procedure. Let's remove our coupling from our refrigerant analyzer. Coupling removed. We're gonna connect up our low side suction line here. Connected, depress it down down so now there's refrigerant gas going into the low side right there flowing out of the low side into the refrigerant line into the refrigerant line into the unit i have it you see the little dial it's in the recovery mode and that will go all through hit the start button it's on it's now drawing down refrigerant and pumping it into the tank you can see the vapor pressure has dropped on the low side because the machine is sucking pulling it out and that's why we're dropping down over there. And you can see the weight scale is going up. We got 30 grams into this bottle right now, and it'll slowly go up. Since the ambient temperature is only in the 50 degrees right now, this is gonna be a little slow. And because this vehicle is in undrivable or even, I can't even idle it and warm it up or anything like that, this is definitely gonna be a slow, uh, refrigerant recovery just due to the fact of how cold it is and I can't start the car. Uh, we got 40 grams in there, but I'm going to show you, even though it's only been on for like 60 seconds, let's see if I could show you this in one screen. So you can see the low side pressure. I'm sucking on this side. You can see the high side going. It would be really nice if I turn open this, isn't it? That would have been nice. Now we should have a little flow in there. There we go. 140 <laughs> we were weighing so th that that 30 grams that we were weighing before was 30 grams of liquid that was pumped and under pressure inside this liquid line because it's out here on the scale it would could weigh that there was 30 grams of liquid just in the line even though my valve was closing because of course I'm making video not paying attention to things but then I could take this from recovery see the 180 grams so I could take the liquid out of this unit 
that's being pumped in here and clean the unit out and you're gonna see this jump up. So one, two, three, boom, there we go. You see how fast that jumps up? It's no longer taking in refrigerant from the car. It is just cleaning out the unit to pump all the refrigerant into the tank. And we'll start this procedure over again. And this is, ends this video because I'm not gonna hold you to the video to the very end just to watch refrigerant come out. You might as well go watch paint dry or grass grow. All right, guys, I'll see you later. We got a long ways to go and we know we have nice, clean, pure refrigerant. See you on the next one.